Hello, my name is Charlie Longdon and in this video I will be discussing the walking football team Havisif Dribblers. Founded in 2017, the Dribblers are a group made up of people both male and female of any age. They play weekly at the Mugger at Havisif Swimming Pool and their sessions are funded by the Havisif Parish Council, which means that it is free for those that want to play. The Dribblers do not yet play in a league and the feeling around the sessions is very relaxed. There is no pressure on the people that play they simply do it to enjoy themselves and to keep active. The group always stays for a drink and a chat after the match, and anyone that plays is of course welcome. This resembles the bond within the group and the camaraderie surrounding the weekly sessions. Social sports in communities like Havisic can be beneficial for a number of reasons. Firstly, in the case of walking football, a lot of the members of the Havisic dribblers are above 70 years old and keeping active at that age is paramount to maintaining good health. Secondly, and equally important, is mental health. Exercise reduces the level of stress in your body and it stimulates endorphins. A large number of elderly people can suffer with loneliness and in some cases depression. Therefore, being involved in social sports can help elderly people's mental health and give them something to look forward to on a regular basis. Social sports are an excellent way of making friends, keeping fit and feeling part of a community. Studies have shown that 20 to 30 minutes of exercise each day can make people feel calmer. Additionally, taking part in team sports such as football or even better for mental health because being part of a team will enhance the feeling of unity. I interviewed two members of the Hazardage Dribblers to get a deeper insight into their motives in playing and the benefits they get out of it. I first interviewed Peter Burns, a 71-year-old man that joined the Hazardage Dribblers four years ago. Peter played a lot of football in his young years and was unfortunately forced to stop due to a heart operation. In the time that he wasn't playing football, Peter believes his health rapidly decreased. Due to this, he joined the Havisage Dribblers in 2018 and he never looked back. People that are interested in joining a social sports club should take inspiration from Peter as he's been playing football for the last four years at the age of 71, despite having a previous heart operation. Here is what Peter had to say. Peter Burns, I'm 71, and I started playing football here at Havisage about four years ago. I used to play football when I was a young man. I played in my 50s and then picked it up again here. And do you enjoy playing walking football? I absolutely love it. It's one of the highlights of the week. The camaraderie, um, the fun, the skill level at times. Um, the enjoyment of scoring a goal is exactly the same at 71 as it was when you were a teenager. And what do you think are the main benefits of walking football and has it improved your lifestyle? Well, fitness for me, it, when I stopped playing football was when I went downhill in my 50s. Um, and uh, I've undoubtedly got fitter. It's helped me a lot. I was a bit nervous because I'd had a heart operation. Um, so I took it steady at the beginning, but no, it's, it's been great. So I think, the, I think the fitness as much as anything. But you just look forward to it because it's such good fun. Have you made friends through how this is true? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we don't meet socially very much in between uh, the games. But no, we will we'll WhatsApp. There's a WhatsApp group. Mm. You know, we, we find out if people are okay. And um, yeah, we have some good people here, really nice people. Christmas can be a lonely time for some people. Um, do you believe that walking football and other social sports can help people mentally? Oh, there's no doubt. There's no doubt. In that, certainly in looking up forward to the game the hour itself when we play you don't think of anything else mm. you have no worries all you're thinking about is, is having an enjoyable game trying to score a goal trying to win the match it doesn't really matter if you don't but uh, it's nice when you do finally what would you tell somebody that has never tried walking football but is interested in joining um don't be too nervous take it steady at the beginning and have a go there are some women ladies who play here with us and two of them, out of the three, have never done anything like this. They've not really done netball. They've certainly never played football. So have a go, because it's good fun. Peter is clearly very passionate about playing walking football and gets an awful lot out of it on a weekly basis. He's a strong believer in keeping fit and healthy and is living proof that sports can help people mentally, stating that it is one of the highlights of his week. He mentions the feeling of scoring a goal in his 70s being exactly the same to scoring a goal in his teenage years. This is a fantastic quote and a perfect advert for people that want to get involved in walking football. 
This is evidence that no matter what the standard of the match is, the emotion is always there. Peter also mentions the Hathersley Dribblers having a WhatsApp group where they check everyone is alright. This is further evidence that the group have become more bonded as people, not just in the game, but in personal life too. It also shows the importance of social media in the modern day, as these people stay connected on a weekly basis through the usage of WhatsApp. Peter, along with the rest of the Havisic dribblers, is very welcoming to newcomers. He states at the end of the interview that people should not be nervous about joining and should just give it a go. Next, I conducted an interview with Paul Glanus, a 74-year-old man that first started playing walking football a couple of years ago. Paul started out by playing football with a group in Bakewell, where he was the oldest of the group. After discovering that the rest of the group were much younger than him, he decided to look for a group that were more similar to his age, and he came across the Havisic dribblers. Walking football is not the only social sport that Paul gets involved in. He also plays walking netball, and he goes out running. Here is how the interview went. Hi, I'm Paul Galenus, I'm 74, and I started uh, walking football a couple of years ago. I, I started with a team in Bakewell, and uh, I was the oldest there. I used to go along then. I was a bit older than most. It was over 50, so I, I was nearly 25 years older than some of them. So I looked for something uh, with a bit more comradeship of my age group. And the friend recommended this, and I came along, and it's fantastic. Did you enjoy it? Playing Love it. Football? Look forward to coming. And uh, I go to the walking netball the day before and go out running and so on. But I love it coming here with this group. And we, we joke about and we play football at the same time. Yeah. And what do you think are the main benefits of walking football and has it improved your lifestyle? Main benefits are keep you fit doing things. Um, but you really need to sort of keep fit doing other things as well so that you're okay for this. Um, so I get the benefit of uh, comradeship while I'm here. I always look forward to it and it keeps you happy. It gives you something to talk about. People take the rib out of you sometimes, you know, when they see you, so it's yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. And do you feel like you've made friends through yeah. Hallisif Dribblers? I have, yeah, yeah. There's a group of people that I hadn't met before. And I came along and they made me welcome and they were stood here when I came and they said, what's your name, Paul? Right, come and join in and, and it's great, it's good fun. Christmas can be a lonely time for some people. Uh, do you think walking football and other social sports can help people in this sort of time? Yeah, I mean, Christmas is like any other time. No, it, it keeps you happy. And uh, I think people enjoy working, playing in groups. So that, uh, And do you look forward to coming along on a Thursday? I always look forward to coming along. Got a smile on my face. And finally, what would you tell somebody that hasn't ever tried walking football but is interested in joining? <laughs> Well, I'd say you need to be able to walk and play a bit of football, know what it's about, and come along and try it out. It really is good fun. Yeah. That's great. Thank you. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Just like Peter, it's very clear that Paul is also very passionate about the Hathersley dribblers and enjoys keeping fit and active despite his age. Paul also plays walking netball on a Wednesday at the Mugger in Hathersage, which is clear proof that playing social sports can help build a sense of community because he is involved in two different social sports clubs in the same village. It is excellent that Paul is so involved in a variety of sports and it is clear that he is a very sprite person. He also provides evidence that walking football is helping his mental well-being, stating that it keeps him happy and he enjoys playing as part of a group. It was interesting that Paul mentioned walking football not just being good for his physical health but also being a really good motivator to keep fit on the other days. Paul mentioned keeping fit doing other things so that it is okay to play walking football on a weekly basis. This shows that walking football really improves his lifestyle as a whole and pushes him on to being fitter. Overall, as a group, the Hathersley Dribblers are a friendly, welcoming bunch that all believe in keeping fit and active no matter how old you are. Not only do they meet once a week to play walking football, but the game has also stemmed to a social meeting after the match and a WhatsApp group where the members will talk throughout the week, taking an interest in each other's lives and well-being. On the surface, they may seem like a group of people that meet up to kick a ball around for an hour. However, when you take a closer look, you realise that not only is physical and mental well-being being improved, but bonds and relationships are being formed, and the walking football is a massive part of these people's lives. It is likely that as time goes on, walking football and other social sports that don't discriminate people's age or gender will become much more common, as they bring an incredible amount of joy into these people's lives. Thank you for listening.